okay guys hey welcome back to my channel uh i know i'm finally done up but yeah um my name is destiny hope one of destiny hope candles and today um i am going to be testing out a new wick series in which arrived today so y'all this thing was delivered to me today at three o'clock it is now five something going on six o'clock i checked outside it wasn't there so I said, okay, cause, and I checked the site, so it said at the mailbox, and you look, when it's at the mailbox, it's in the mailbox. If it said it was delivered at home, it was outside. I checked outside, but I didn't check, like, around, like, on the tables and stuff next to the door. It wasn't even on the ground, right? I didn't check, I just checked the ground, in which I felt like I should have, but I did. I didn't have on um, pants, I just checked the door. Um, but yeah, so, and then I've been waiting, right, to, cause I don't really go outside to the mailbox cause of where it is, I don't really do that. I, I let my dad do that. So, I was waiting for him to do that, right? Yeah, he came home and guess this package was legit on the, just sitting on the table for three hours. No knocking, no nothing, so. Yeah, but, I'm going to go ahead and look at this. And I know you guys are going to see this video, uh, like, a lot later because uh, it is actually November the 11th. Uh, you're going to see this, like, around December, maybe January. Um, uh, but I released my collection today. I'm still working on pricing because I like the price that it's at. I do. Because uh, I did, like, my research with those jars and that um, wax size and that weight and stuff like that. Um, but thing about it, um, shipping... Well, actually, thank God I just realized that shipping is going to be more expensive right now anyway because um, it's getting in the holiday time. So, I'm assuming once that, you know, that slows down, then shipping will go back to normal. I hope so. Because shipping is kind of like, the price is like, I've been going to other people's sites and stuff like that, seeing they're shipping their average amount for the uh, um, candle and then, you know, like the whole collective. So, it's around 30 to $32 dollars. Which is where mine is and whatnot. But I am just starting. You know, people don't have brand loyalty to me just yet. I have to build that. So I'm working on getting my shipping down. I don't really necessarily know how to do that. So I'm I'm thinking about, you know, you have to play like mind tricks. <laughs> like you have to mess with psychology. You know, so you have to put the shipping into the price for them to think they get free shipping. But it really in reality they're paying for shipping. But then the product just ends up being too expensive. So I'm like, okay, let me put I'm I'm honestly thinking about putting some of the money for shipping into the price so the price is like $23 right um but I'm thinking about putting and it's around like $8 to ship but you know I have to upcharge a bit because of like shipping materials and which I learned about that too so thank god I learned that you know so the price of your shipping materials is, does not come out of your candle cost of goods so that's good um so it's around like nine eight something dollars to ship right um yeah so it gets up to around $32 maybe 34 with uh shipping and tax on it so yeah i'm thinking about putting maybe two yeah two to three of the dollars from the shipping into the price of the candle and then leaving the shipping around like six maybe five dollars um because i know winding with candles has hers at five dollars and whatnot even though her candle price is like the same you know so i don't know maybe that three dollars that she has or four dollars extra from the 20 is for shipping i don't know because she's pretty big so her cost of goods are probably much lower than mine right now and also the type of jar she uses anyway, I think, would be cheaper in bulk than mine's are right now. Because I'm not even buying in bulk right now. So, yeah. My supplies also out of stock of them as well. So, yeah, I was supposed, I came in with the date. Because y'all know I didn't have a date or a name. But thank God I came with a name. <laughs> like, yet yeah, last night, uh, which, like, right before my lunch. And then I also lunched, like, 10 days early. Because I wanted to give myself enough time to finish everything for the lunch. And I actually ended up finishing everything very early and then i got really impatient so i was like let me go ahead and lunch it now so it's now lunched and whatnot um but yeah so yeah i'm thinking about doing like around five maybe six dollars shipping and then adding maybe two or three dollars to the cost of the candle so it's around 25 26 which seems uh reasonable to me rather than having the candle 30 32 dollars and then you know free shipping or whatever um, even I know Memory Box Candle Co., she has hers. I just checked her site. Her candle, because I used to compare her candle with mine because I used to have a black jar and stuff like that. So I used to, like, use her as market research with other people who use black jars like that, those heavy type of jars. So, 
with her candle it's around thirty dollars and it has free shipping on it but i don't see how they do that right now i'm also smaller so i'm sure that you know they started where i am you know having to do that type of shipping and they got up and whatnot in their business to where they can you know they know they know a little they know a lot more and they know how to get around shipping prices and adding to their products and just yeah so I don't know. I'm still working on that because I think it is decent. But I think, you know, just the fact that somebody's almost paying ten dollars for shipping is kind of mind boggling. It will be to me. So <laughs> I know that. But yeah, so in uh, this video, I am just showing you guys some supplies that I got in from uh, Lone Star Candles. So originally I am using my I'm using LX, the LX series because I get my wax from, L, um, from Candle Science. And all, the only wick choice that they really offer anyone, if you're using a paraffin wax, it's LX, right? And they burn beautifully if you trim the wick. And I don't want something that I have to barely have a wick on because I know a lot of people don't know anything about that, don't care, or just not that responsible. So I wanted something more self-trimming. I want to give myself a better chance in this industry and with my customers and why not buy you know just having a better you know wick choice for it because this wick regardless you know even though it burns beautifully like you know majority of wicks out there it's just this wick series soots terribly especially if you don't um trim it regularly and just in general the longer it burns the more that it slits and that's something that i don't really like um it is safe i have done like plenty of burn tests on them i've documented those even though it's safe to burn and i know that I, my main concern, there you go. My main concern, thank God I remember this, is the fact that I have clear jars and I know a lot of people in my family and friends and stuff like that use these type of jars, right? I have almost the exact same jar style that they have, just a different, just a different way of branding myself and why not also different size variations as well. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of different options with my jar, but I do know they're generally clear jars that are in the Libby family. So with that being the case, their wick series, whatever wick they use it, whatever wick they use, uh, I, and also my people in my family do not trim their wicks at all. So it's safe to burn, but as it goes down in that jar, especially when I get to my taller jars, like it's going to soot out the jar and i don't like that i don't want that look in my jar regardless of whether it's safe or not and i tested it to make sure it was safe i don't want my jars to be sooted out like that just because you didn't trim even if you did trim or whatever it is or just because you're low in the jar i don't want it i don't want my clear jar to be blacked out i don't want that i don't like that at all no um even though it's safe i no i don't like that so i will be trying I don't know if you can see that, but I actually ordered a sample pack of uh, Lone Star's Wick Sample Kit for the HT series, HTP series. Uh, like I said before, Black Tie Born has recommended uh, me this uh, wick, and he recommends a lot of people this wick. That's like the one of the main wick uh, series that he mentions in his um make in his candle making videos. Because I remember I commented before, you know, talking about that, and he mentioned HTP. But when he got into the numbers and how they were named and organized that's when i was like okay i'm not gonna use them they seem difficult that was you know that was them of me but you know we're here now so yeah so i actually give it a try and i just honestly I just went on lone star i was just looking for different on different candle making sites to find different series because candle size only has like lx and it's the only one they honestly even recommend you in the first place when there's many more options out there um and I was thinking about using a wooden wick, but they are expensive. Well, they're just out of my price range right now, especially just starting out. It's already about seven, eight dollars to even make these guns in the first place. So, and I'm not going to up that by make by getting a fifty cent wick and like a twenty, maybe eighteen cent uh, wick clip and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna do that. Plus, I feel like it ruins the aesthetic of my jar. Like, I feel like if it had either a different lid type or a different lid color or no lid at all and when i think it will look nice around that white wax but i feel like it's around the same color family but it's not the same material obviously you know like the lid is metal and then the top is uh wood so i mean the um the wick is wood so i feel like it ruins it clashes i feel like the colors clash and when i like when i tried to 
when I had those matte black jars, I had a craft label with a court lid and I feel like those color and materials clashed. So I ended up, you know, scrapping that idea and just moving all the wax into my other jars and stuff like that and just starting out fresh. So I will be trying out and shout out to Black Tie Born, Mirabai's Candle Co, uh, Stanley Handcrafted, all of those people um, for their just like, their community and just their help and their growth and their process and letting us see that. Um, and thank you, Black Tie Born, for, you know, mentioning me this and also just recommending these uh, Wix series majority on your channel from what I've seen. And I'm going to give them a try and they actually do seem really good as to how he was explaining them and he always mentions them so i'm actually really glad i'm giving them a try so when i went to lone star and i used their wick guide site i saw that and i remember they had a lot of wick options and i was looking for something that obviously was self-trimming at that point because if my main concern is the soot and the trimming i want something that is self-trimming so and even and the thing is what confused me also on their site was the fact that their LX series on their site said it was self trimming. So I asked them in their question was I said, Okay, is is your is your wig series the same as candle signs? Because I use them, but your says self trimming. So I was like, I, I know it's gonna be stupid, but I was going to I was considering using their LX series because they said theirs was self trimming. So I was gonna give them a try and they said if you want <laughs> they said we don't know we can't you know say for sure if we use their wick vendor or not um or supplier or not for those for that wick series but if you want something self-trimming use our htp so which i knew that from their site but if i'm familiar with lx and i see that theirs is says it's advertised as self-trimming on check on candle sites and it wasn't advertised as self-trimming i was hoping you know I could get around that and still use the same wig. I know the right size, so I could just get their series and stuff like that instead of having to uh, test. Not even test, because I don't mind testing. It's just the fact that when you have to test multiple sizes, that's when it gets... Okay, so, yeah, I don't need nearly all of these sizes, but I was okay with actually going through and buying a sample kit just because I want to carry this um, wig series all throughout my candles, uh, all throughout my, um, my candle collection. So with that being the case, I'm fine with having these because I like they're going to go to waste like with the LX Wick series samples that I have and which I have those and I may end up selling them or something like that, making a big sample pack and put them on eBay or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I will I will be carrying this Wick series from now on. Um, yeah, and I assume they're going to do well. I hope so. I'm really, I'm really interested. I'm really intrigued by these. Um, but yeah, so I will have these. These wigs will get used at some point, possibly, you know, depending on what jars I'm using. So, and also, there are some jars that I want to use that are brand new. And I'm glad Candle Science is coming out with brand new items. But it came out with something, because I'm looking for something. If I do tins, right? I didn't really care for tins. When I was looking at Make Seeds back in the day when it wouldn't wick co, when I was looking at their tins, I was looking around Sage Colors. That was when, like, that was, like, uh, the beginning of my business ventures when I was just going through color styles. And I really did like their matte jar finish um, for tins. Um, but they were expensive and yeah i just i didn't want to go the luxury route anymore so um i stopped caring for tens after i got out of the luxury mindset and um i just want to do like regular candles but i do want to do a tin or just something that would be cheaper so it'd be a cheaper option on my site without having to be like a sample it could be just a smaller candle that you can use as a sample but also have a reason to pay for it so um they came out with a bronze infinity tin uh, they have a mini and a large so I will be uh, doing, I will be using a mini at some point because I want it to uh, be cohesive. So if I use a tin, I want it to be bronze. And a lot of people do not carry bronze. It's like the only place I can even get my lids from is candle size. Even though I get my jars from elsewhere because a lot of people sell those jars. Not a lot of people sell those uh, lids. And I'm finally getting them from candle size because like the shipping is really decent for the amount of lids that you can get. Because, you know, they're just smaller items. So I'm fine with getting my wax well I'm, I'm fine with getting my lids from candle science because the shipping is actually um bearable when it comes to that but when it comes to the jars it can get pricey and i can find those elsewhere you know so i do get my lids and my wax from candle science but long star will be getting my wicks and possibly my jars as well and there's another site that's my main site but it's out of stock because it is cheaper and also offers free shipping um for my jars so those are like my backups and then candle science candle science come last my other site comes first of course and then the second site is lone star but yeah so in this week series 
I have a 52. I have a 62. I have a 73. I hope you guys can see that because I'm using my back camera right now. I have a 83. A 104, a 105, and a 1212. So, like I said in a previous video before, they, uh, when I did the question box, they recommended me the 1212, in which is the largest uh, wick on their site. And for like a 5 to 5.5 uh, inch jar, I don't have that. They do recommend it because it's a single pour of wax. But a lot of Singapore wax, waxes are like, well, my Singapore wax is soft. So, and a lot of my Singapore waxes have been soft. So, I don't know why they recommend me the the biggest one. Um, So, on their site, you know, for around my jar size, the 3.5 to 4, they recommend 104. And then for 4 to 4.5, they recommend on the chart uh, 105. So, I'm going to do testing with these two. And the first one I'm going to test first is 104 because, thank God, I realized, I was thinking that, oh, I got to go up on my wick size because, you know, I'm going up and... I'm going up in uh, sizes of my jar, so I use a 15 ounce jar right now. Then in my next jar, it would be the 22 ounce jar, and then the next jar is a 31 ounce jar, right? So I was thinking, like, oh, I gotta go up and stuff like that, you know, just normal, normal candle tendencies of like when you, you when you can hold more wax, and when the jar gets bigger, usually the jar gets wider. But I realized this jar is literally this jar series is legit the same size diameter all throughout four inches around all throughout and the top is like 3.18 or something like that of an inch at the top um but when you go up in the jars it stays the same it just gets taller so that's one reason why also um but yeah so basically i get to use the same wick the same wick all throughout my uh my collection uh for these jars no matter what size i'm using other than like my tins and other jars but all those jars in this one collection with these bronze lids and one out this libby collection i use one wick size so that's really good for me because i just thought about it on the fact of bulk when i start buying a bulk instead of me having three different kind of three different wick sizes so it's like uh 104 105 and then 106 or something like that or like 104 105 and 12 12 or something like that um, then I have to buy a thousand of each. I can legit buy 3,000 or just 1,000 of one size. So I don't have to buy multiple things or like the more I need, the more I can get a bulk price instead of me getting a bulk price for this one, but then it getting reset and then having a bulk price for this one, you know, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, instead of just like a plain old the bulk price of 3,000, if that makes sense to y'all. I think I explained it well, but I hope it makes sense. Um, but yeah, so, and since it goes for all of my jars, and I don't want those jars to be suited out, and also, like I said, that jar, is, my, the last jar is a 31-ounce jar, so it is tall. It is tall. So, that's going to be a lot of burning, a lot of flame, and a lot of wick inside of the, that's left inside the jar to burn. So, I want to go, and honestly, you know what, I may end up using, they ain't got to thought about this. I may end up using actually a smaller size wick for that jar just because it has more heat circulation inside of the jar. So even if it can go the same um, the same size, I think it'll be a bit more effective. Think I thought about this. I think it'll be a bit more effective to go a few sizes smaller just because of how much heat can be produced inside of that jar. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to be testing with the 104 first because, like I said, if I end up uh, or the idea before you know that idea just then uh since i can use the same wick i want to give it as little heat as possible with still being having an effective melt pool and hot throw and where not i want to be as, as effective and safe and just slow burning as possible without affecting the performance of the candle especially in that large jar like that so i was going to go with the 3.5 to 4 inch diameter wick size which is the 104 but i may end up actually hopefully it'll still burn good at the top for it to be able to catch up at the bottom of the jar if i do use a size lower but i am so glad i'm doing this video because i just thought about that but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video of this little haul and majority of just talking and whatnot hopefully you find it you know informational and y'all please save this video if y'all find anything informational so you will know which one to refer back to because i do that a lot i save uh candle makers videos if they say things like 
just about like retail or wholesale, just anything that I find informational and that I want to grow to at some point that I find will be helpful to me in my journey at some point, I save them so I can know who said it and which video it was. Because I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and this little, um, you know, this little backstory and whatnot. I hope you guys are enjoying my collection. Oh, yeah, the name of my collection is Anaya. So I was just looking, I usually just do this. I look up words and see definitions, you know, to put them around things, to name things. So I was looking up, okay, let me see something about bronze. And then the a Latin word for bronze, um, it's slash copper is anea, um, and whatnot, which means bronze slash copper, but it also means like praiseworthy or something like that in a different language. I'm not sure, but um so I was thinking about praiseworthy or worthy or something like that, but I just thought about anea. Um and there was something in Anaeus or something like that for some type of uh renaissance i don't know about renaissance but some type of latin hero or something like that uh that's a nay is the some someone i don't remember uh but a nay a nay uh no s or anything else in latin to you know english is bronze so i thought that was, and, and it's just such a cute name oh i love this and it starts the a and it has a e n e a it is so beautiful and yeah but like uh oh yeah quick to run back to the story about the um tins i want to do the smaller tins right and i will do the smaller tins i have a smaller candle and also just get a tin and when because a lot of people offer tins and regular jar size regular regular jar types um but they also have a larger tin in which is bigger is it holds more wax than my regular collection if you see me look off screen that's why i'm looking at my my other jars so like my um 10 ounce jars that i have right now um well my 10 ounce candles of my 15 ounce jars um but yeah so they hold like 11 point something ounces uh so it's gonna be more expensive to make because when i'm getting them from candle science the jars at least they come with the lid so thank god and also they hold more wax and fragrance oil, so they'll be more expensive anyway but i do want to i don't know i just like the i just like the idea of having a small one and the and the the bigger one and then having that as a collection but a part of the main collection because it's still bronze and i don't and but i think as i was thinking if i legit got three sizes of one of each scent right and i have like how many of since i have what with the collection if 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 the purpose of the mini tins are supposed to be smaller or sample sample sizes of my bigger jars of that same scent then what is the tent what is the larger tent purpose going to be like what sense are that's going to be because i already have those three different size uh candles anyway in my regular collection so what different fragrances are those going to be and and why would they be the same fragrance if i already have three different sizes and that's when it's just supposed to be the mini so i scratched that one out because if i want to do a tin collection but the purpose of me even having a smaller tin in the first place it just will be a sample size and i would have three sizes that go up really i can make a 21 ounce candle like it's my largest size with a 31 ounce jar there's no purpose of me having another larger tin there's no purpose of that unless it's going to be a different scent collection but then if it's going to be a different scent collection then i can't group them with the mini tin which you know so yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and if you don't like the video dislike it if you find it informational save it uh to your watch later or just like a candle making playlist um that you may uh have if you are a candle maker or you're just interested in the supplies that we use um or you're a hobbyist or anything like that go down in the, to the links in my description there's some inventory software um most of the softwares are free there's some shipping software as well um and there are paid um versions of those softwares but you don't have to use those i don't even use those right now uh, with where i am in my business but they are free and they just honestly i just use it for inventory uh management right now even though they can do much more like for tax time just giving you more detailed measurements and just giving you a history and stuff like that and there's also um some amazon links to um uh, materials and supplies and equipment that i use that i will be using or that's close to what i use but it came from this different supplier most of my links are affiliate links and i do make a small commission off of your off your, off, of, ooh, <laughs> off of your purchases um yeah so i do make a small commission off of your uh purchases at no charge to you of course i just get a percentage of you know the sale or whatnot for my my recommendation um and thank you for those of you who have purchased things and just all of your support as a whole whether it's paid or non-paid i hope you guys have a beautiful day and a beautiful life of course and i love you guys and i will see you next time